Step 1. Download the PNPKI application form and use this link. Punta tayo sa web browser sa Google and let's paste yung link na ibinigay ko kanina. Ito na ang ating Philippine National PKI application form. So lahat ng nasa red boxes ay kailangan yung sagutan. Okay, next step, let's download the file. So click yung download. Okay, there you go. Next step, step 2. You need to download Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. If you have this application, skip the step and move to step 3. Bakit nga ba kailangan i-download tong Adobe Acrobat Reader DC? Kasi using this application ay pwede tayo mag-affix ng picture and your e-signature na hindi natin kaya magawa kung wala nito. So let's download Adobe Acrobat Reader. So free lang po ito. So yung unang-una dyan, i-click natin. And then, so once we click it, ito na ang lalabas. So depende po yan kung anong OS ang gamit nyo. And I'm using Mac OS, kaya iba yung interface nyan. So kapag Windows, automatic yan, download nyo agad. Okay, so let's choose English and then version. So pag Windows... Um, mamimili lang kayo kung install nyo yung McAfee dyan. And then, let's download Acrobat Reader. Now, it is initializing. So, dito natin makikita kung tapos na. Okay, next. So, let's wait na ma-download yung files. Step 3. Go to Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Click my computer, look for PNPKI, the application form you downloaded a while ago. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go to Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And then, punta tayo dito sa my computer. Okay, click and then downloads. So hanapin nyo yung inyong PNPKI kanina na na-download. And then after that, so the next step is step 4. Prepare your passport size picture. Click here to affix photo. It should be JPEG or PNG. And then click browse. And then hanap kayo ng picture nyo dyan. Okay, so here, error importing image and supported image format kasi dapat passport size. Okay, so let's check again or let's try again. Okay, there you go. So, ito hindi siya, no, pero ang size niya is passport. So, example lang po yan. And then, so, next step is step 5. Fill out all the data needed. Put NA if it's not applicable. Okay, so let's try to answer. Example, last name, first name, your middle name, and then extension. So, NA, not applicable. Next, gender, male or female, nationality, Filipino, and then birth date. So, Meron dyan drop down arrow that you can choose. Okay, example lang po yan. Okay, next, your teen number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Example only. Take note, please fill the form in black letters only or capital letter po lahat. So, if it's not applicable, just put NA. Okay, organization or agency company, Department of Education. Organizational unit, department or division. So, yung school nyo po. And then, don't forget 
to include your school ID. Okay, and then contact details. So your street, barangay, your residential address. Okay. So example. So yung mga information dito, example lang po yan. Next, your zip code. And then your landline. Kung wala kang landline, NA. Okay. Your email address. Supposedly, dapat sa email address ay DepEd address or DepEd email. And then, for your alternate email address, your personal email address. Okay. Now, Yung date, accomplish. So, kailan nyo siya in-accomplish? Example, August 16, 2021. And then, place, example, Cavite. And name of applicant, Teacher Eloisa. Step 6. Prepare and affix your e-signature. Click here to affix e-signature. So, let's try. And then, browse. So, after that, hanapin nyo na lang sa file nyo yung inyong e-signature. Okay. Now, so let's affix your signature. So, after fixing your e-signature, so, as you can see here, lahat ng information nyo ay nakalagay na dyan. Nakasync na. So, yung date, yung place, even your signature. Okay, so there you go. Step 7. Don't forget to save your data and rename it.